Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to import PDFs and images into GoodNotes, especially with the recent updates. There's been a lot of confusion on how to get your new PDFs or things that you download from Etsy into GoodNotes. So I'm just going to do a quick little tutorial to show you a couple different ways in which you can do that. All right. So first of all, I really love the multitasking tool and um, it's probably the most used tool that I have when I open two GoodNotes windows by each other. In a previous video, I had shown you different ways that I organize my, um, my GoodNotes and one of the things that I have, for example, is planner inserts. And in my planner inserts page is where I've all the different kinds of PDFs that I found online, I kind of keep in there. So one of the easiest ways to import something is when you hit new on the little plus arrow, and I'm going to now maximize this. When I hit new right here, it's gonna give me the option of different things that I can include. And for example, if you are at a meeting and they are giving you an agenda, you can scan that document right in and it'll show up here. Um, if you wanna take a picture of something in a meeting, you can do that as well. Another great thing is that you can just do an import. Now, if you're importing directly to your downloads, it's going to appear right here, but you can also search different places in um, that you have connected. You can connect your Dropbox, you can connect your Google Drive, you could connect your iCloud, and obviously things that you have on your iPad. So here are just a, a couple of the places that you can search for something that you already have. So for example, if you have a document in your Dropbox, a PDF that you want to um, import in, that is an easy way you kind of find the document that you want to pull in and you can um, include that. For example, let me see if this document will upload. Once that's there, it appears right in. So for example, this is you know, an old document that I just found just to show you an example of how easy it is to pull in something from your drives. Now, let's say that you are searching for, um, you are searching for something online, something as simple as a planner template, for example. Okay. And that's really easy. And what I did here is I could just do a planner template search on, let's say, Google. And I'm going to have lots of different options. Now, I like to look at images to see kind of something that I want. Obviously, there's lots of things that you can purchase online, but there's also lots of things that are out there and that are free that you can also um, use and play around with. So, for example, um, let's say that this is a template that you um, like. So, again, oh, let me go back to that. Okay, so I'm going to pull my good notes right here and I'm going to go to let's just say a new page in my we'll just go in here and let me just add a new page and adding a new page is easy right here I can just put add a page after it's gonna ask me if I want to do the current template and I can and now that I had found this Okay, sometimes it'll let you download it, which you can do, and sometimes you can pull it in as an image. Okay, if you pull it in and, and it's literally drag and drop, um, you can crop this now, and you can, let's say, just use the actual template itself, not the background, it, part of the image. Let me pull it a little tighter, and all of a sudden, I can utilize this if I wanna try out this template for my week. And again, this is just a, a quick image that I found on um, on Google. Now, an additional thing that I do, let's say that I like this and I want to use it week to week, is I also add this in. I'm going to put copy and I'm going to show you how I kind of create a template book for myself with my own sticker book. In my sticker book, I have a section for bullet journal templates. And what I do is when I find a template that I really like that I might want to use over and over again, I will literally put it in here. Now I'm going to paste it. And now 
I have my own wealth of templates that I can pull from when I'm looking for different kinds of templates to find. So pulling in something from the internet, drag and drop into your planner is another option that you have, okay? Now, if you wanted to download it, okay, um, so for example, it's going to now download it for you in this. So there's a couple things you can do with this screen. So you can, once this downloads, it's right over here in, um, okay, so I'm going to pull this up and it's going to ask me, I, it's going to have an option here for open in GoodNotes. Okay, now what that's going to do is it's going to create a PDF version and it's going to ask me to open and it'll automatically open a GoodNotes window. Now, this is where you have to be careful. Um, you want to kind of put where it's going to go. It'll automatically default by whatever page you had last opened in GoodNotes, in which case that was my sticker book. I don't necessarily want it there. I'm going to put change location. I'm going to put it under planner inserts because I have a folder for that. And now I'm going to import it as a new document. Now, when I do that, it's going to open as its own document. Let me show you what that looks like in the folder itself. So in my planner inserts now, it appears right here along with a lot of the other different kinds of templates that I have downloaded. Okay, for example, here's another one that I've downloaded in the past. Okay, now, if I want to use this by itself, I can absolutely do that. Now realize that if you start writing on this, um, it's going to kind of default with writing. So um, I don't want to do that. I want to be able to use it over and over again. So if you want to like use it as a single page by itself, you can totally do that. I would still duplicate it so that you have one that you work with and one without the writing that you can reference over and over again. Your next option is you can actually do a screenshot of this. Okay. And if I screenshot it, all of a sudden, I'm able to create an image, okay? And once I have screenshotted it, now I have an image. I can save it to my files or I could save it to my photos. And if I save it to my photos, now I can go into one of my planner pages, okay? And I can do the same thing. Again, I'm gonna just add a page after a blank page and in this blank page I can now insert photo it's gonna be the last thing that I put in there and now I have it as an image that I can also so you can drag and drop you can save it if you want to use it over and over again into your camera roll that might get really full really quick which is why I say that I also keep it in my sticker book and you can add it as a PDF into um, a document or a folder in your good notes so that's just a couple of the different ways okay now i want to show you if you are let's say in etsy um i was recently there today please pardon all my tabs open that's kind of how my brain works okay so for example today i was looking for some fall stickers and i had purchased this so I'm going to go into my purchases to show you how I pulled in one of these. So once I download, if I'm in Etsy, I have the option to download my file. And once I download, different shops have different ways. This one has their download right here. And for this particular one, it's going to open... Um, it's going to also give me a GoodNotes zip file, which I prefer because it's going to be right in the format in which I'm going to use it. So when I click here, it's going to take me to um, to the Dropbox page. Okay, so once I'm here, once I'm here, I have the ability to download. Now I can do a save to my Dropbox or I can do a direct download. In this case, I'm going to do a direct download and it's going to ask me if I want to download it here. I'm going to click yes and what that means is that now it's under my um it's under my downloads in my goodnotes app 
Again, I'm going to go, in that case, those were stickers. So I'm gonna go there into the stickers. I'm going to hit the plus sign. I'm going to import and my, I'm gonna go back to my iCloud and my downloads and it's gonna be right there. And that means it'll pop up right there. So that's another way that you can import something directly from, let's say Etsy, do a direct download and you can import it directly in there. And again, like I showed you, you can do that through your Google Drive, through your Dropbox, etc. This is a planner page that we just saw online that I found. You can modify this to work this way. You can make it smaller and do something on this side. Uh, but that way, now you're able to um, write directly on it. You can already start creating your you know, your to-dos for the week or whatever it is that you needed to do. But it's a quick, easy way to import some images and um, some documents and PDFs into your GoodNotes. So hope you liked the little tutorial. If you have any questions or you want to see some other things in video, leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.